Hello photographers, today I'm gonna to show you how to add presets to Lightroom on your iPad. Now, here's the thing about presets on Lightroom on your iPad, and that is that you can't add them on your iPad, but you can add presets to Adobe Lightroom on iPad. You just have to do it from your desktop. You add them to Lightroom on your desktop and then they synchronize to Lightroom on your iPad. So for example, if you see here, I have these bunch of presets and none of them are what I want. This is Dream from Endless. It's a cosplay photo shoot I did. And I actually have some Endless presets that I use for my raw editing for these photos. And I'm going to show you how to install them. So we're gonna switch over to the computer here. And I am in Lightroom CC. And this is important. You have to be in Lightroom CC, not in Lightroom Classic. And when you're in Lightroom CC, what you need to do is actually go into a photo. So if you're in your basic library or grid mode, it doesn't matter what photo you pick, but you need to pick a photo and then go into the editing by clicking these three little dots right up here. When you do that, it opens this whole editing panel. And at the bottom of that panel, you'll find presets. If you click that, it opens this second panel that shows you the presets that you have installed. Now by default, there's actually a bunch of presets installed. I have turned off all of these presets that I'm currently turning back on because I don't use any of them, so I don't want them to show. But this is probably what it will look like for you if you've never turned off any of those other presets. You'll see all of these other ones here. So to install the presets, you need to have those presets on the computer that you're going to be installing from and I'm going to minimize Lightroom here and show you that I have them in this endless folder right here on my desktop I have one two three four five presets the presets will be one of two file types if it's a newer preset made with a newer version of Lightroom it will be a .xmp file like you see here. However, older versions of Lightroom made presets as a .lr template file. It doesn't really matter what kind, Lightroom CC will convert the older .lr template files into the .xmp files, but you do need to find your presets. Now, if you're moving from Lightroom Classic over to Lightroom CC and you have a bunch of presets you wanna move, I'll show you how to do that in a minute. So we've got the presets here. We're gonna go back here to Adobe Lightroom and installing them is super duper easy. All you have to do is come up here to this three dot menu and click it and you have this import presets option. Click that and then navigate to wherever the presets are. So right here we have desktop, they're endless and you can select a group of them. I'm going to click the first one and then hold the shift key on my keyboard and click the last one to select all of the presets and click import. Now when I do, they're going to import automatically into a group called Endless. And that is because I made these presets in Lightroom CC and I put them into a group called Endless. And so they automatically do that because that information is embedded inside of the preset. However, you are welcome to organize these presets however you want. For example, let's say I just wanted them under user presets. You can right click a preset and choose move to group and then put it into a different group or create a brand new group. Now, if we go back to the iPad here, you'll see that now during the time we've been talking, these endless presets have synchronized over to my iPad just like that. So the installation part is easy. You have to do it on a computer though. If you don't have a computer, what you're going to have to do is find somebody who does that will let you install Lightroom on there temporarily so that you can install the presets. Now going back to the computer here for a moment, if you have Lightroom Classic and you want to move presets that you have in Lightroom Classic over to Lightroom CC, the main thing you have to do is just find those presets. And finding them is not that difficult. So I have a few presets over here that I made, this AD1274, and I have this Ringmaster here. To find those presets, you need to open the Preferences menu. On a Mac, you come up to Lightroom Classic and go Preferences. On a Windows computer, it would be Edit, and then Preferences will be in this menu. So I'm going to go up here and choose preferences and then you have these different tabs up top and you want to go to the presets tab and you'll see here you have show Lightroom develop presets and show all other Lightroom presets we want to click show Lightroom develop presets and that's going to automatically open a file browser and it's got the folder highlighted for us if I double click that 
you can see here, I've got all of this garbage in here, but notice this Ringmaster preset. So I'm gonna take that preset and I'm just going to copy it by hitting Command C on my keyboard, and then I'm going to paste it onto my desktop. And you do that with any of the presets that you wanna move from Classic over to Lightroom CC. And then once again, you just go to Lightroom CC and then choose the import option and navigate to where that preset is and import it and it'll show up just like that. So that's it. It's super annoying, like I said, that you can't do it on the iPad, but unfortunately that is the way it is. Now, if you have any questions about using Lightroom or editing photos on your iPad in general, let me know down in the comments. And while they're down there, I wanna know, do you buy presets? Do you make presets? Do you have presets? Would you like me to make presets that you could use for editing your photos? Let me know down in the comments what you think about presets for Lightroom. And then get out there and take some damn photos.